Hello all, Brian here, Spontaneous Creations. Uh, well, it's kind of noisy background because I got my washer dryer running and I got my 3D printer running and the sump pump has been kicking on and off and the heater has been kicking on and off but it all has to be done and I wanted to paint. So, there's noise in the background. I guess I could have not videoed but then I'm going to get something gorgeous and be pissed because I don't have a video. So, anyway, what I got is a 12 by 12 uh, deep canvas, gallery wrapped, back is taped, a uh, little, um, whatchamacallit, shepherd's hook, plant hangers for the corners to make sure it's level, and I got a 3D printed cup. Now this is, I printed this on my 3D printer, uh, one, two, three four chambers so I'm going to do four colors with it. Uh, I've chosen for my colors Parage Posse Paints. This one is Orange Mango. This one again and Ocean Teal Blue and we got Bumblebee Yellow and I got some Creative Inspirations White I'm going to use. So we're going to do a ring pour on this. Now this cup that I made holds almost 12 ounces of paint. Now I'm not going to do 12 ounces of paint on this. I'm not going to fill up, fill them all the way full. I'm not going to fill the chambers all the way full. Anyway, let me put that there. And I'm going to go with orange on the outside. It is still quite a bit of paint and then I decided blue in the second it did make the gaps in this a little bit bigger so but it's still going to be easier to fill these cups with a squeeze bottle rather than with uh, a little cup try to pour paint in there like that you're gonna you're gonna mess it up some anyway then I decided I'm going white squeeze bottles are always easier anyway now you can definitely on a bigger canvas fill, fill these chambers up all the way or fill them up with di different colors maybe a ring of a color and another ring of a color it, it might end up cooler like that I don't know but I'm just doing it this way for now and throwing the yellow in the center I am gonna fill the center one up okay now I really didn't really plan this out too well Because I want a I want a base color, but none of my paints are mixed, so it'll be fine sitting there like that. While I throw a base on this, just same white. A little bit of air bubbles in that. Got me a spatula, and we're just gonna spread that out real fast. I do want it to flow over the edge. I, I don't really need this base coat to flow over the edge. But I do want the paint to make it to the edge and then flow over. So, if that makes any sense. Just throw a little bit more on there. Just, cause, just because I can. I don't use a lot of these deep canvases, so 
I don't have really a lot of tricks or ideas or hints on how to deal with the sides being so deep anyway that's no reason to waste that just put it right on there at least waste it yet okay so again 3d printed cup and let's see is that too far away should I do that let's do that oh I should pop some bubbles huh where is it there it is there's some air bubbles in there I might well take care of real quick quite a few actually because of the way I squirted that on there all right here we go and I'm gonna try and see how well this works out that blue is not making it is it there comes some blue I'm not the greatest at the ring pours myself. Um, Christina Welch does really nice ring pours. There's several ladies on the on the YouTubes that do really nice ring pours. I do like the fact that I added this spout to this cup, and it works fairly well. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. Oh, I'm getting all goofy looking in there now. Maybe I can... Maybe I should have sprayed this cup before I started doing this with some silicone spray. But there's a lot of paint still coming out. It's just coming out real slow. So... I, I end up with that every time no matter what I do yeah, there's a lot of paint left in this cup Yeah, uh, silicone spray in the cup might have been a, a better idea. It would have came out better. But as you can see, there's still got the paint in there. All this is going to get poured off, basically. Paper towel. Why don't I have a towel or something? Handy. Okay, somebody's noticed already. I didn't use no Brian's annoying green on this one. These are Christina Welsh's Barrage Posse uh, spring line. They're fairly nice paints. I will, well, they're really nice paints. I like them. They like being able to come down and just BAM do a painting. Don't have to mix anything up because she does the mixing. So some heat on there. Let's see what okay. Now time to try to stretch it out, huh?
everything's going right now. The printer, the sump pump. So I have to go to the corners. Printer, the sump pump, the washer, the dryer, everything's making noise. Yeah, these four are, I don't know how many, I don't know the measurement here. The, the deep canvases, I'm not real good with them. But, I do have a few of them. Bought a few on it from Michaels. A few of these 12 by 12s deep like this from Michaels during a sale a couple months ago. And my brother bought me some larger deep edge campuses for my birthday back in October that I haven't used. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. This might not be the best video, but... Let that roll and then pull it back. Like I say, I'm not that great with the ring cores either. And I do them. I've been practicing with making a different cup for 3D printed cup for this type of a pour because I know there are some artists out there that there's a lot of people that have shown interest in these cups so I keep trying I think if I get one of these cups in the hands of somebody that does really nice ring pours such as uh, Christine well she did do a very nice Nice one the other, uh, a couple Mondays ago on her live with one of my 3D, 3D printing cups. So I do know if an actual artist, not just an amateur hobbyist like myself, gets a hold of one of these cups, they're going to make some amazing works. my bottoms so because color theory I don't know what colors go with what colors you know I, I throw some weird colors in sometimes I know it just makes real artists cringe so what is he doing he's just gonna make mud but I do have hundreds of paintings literally hundreds of paintings and I'm gonna say 80% of them are nice paintings. Now again, I'm not a professional artist. This is a hobby. And a very fun hobby, I believe. Let's see. How about hitting this with one of these again? I really like that bumblebee yellow. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Bumblebee yellow. It's very nice. I don't know. You guys be the judge of that one. How you like it? I dig it. These little bitty cells that have all popped up around the outside look cool. Again, that's one of these 3D printed cup 
bunch of paint pour it, put in it, ring poured on the canvas, tilt it around. It's not the best piece I've ever seen. It's not the worst. I wish I would stop getting this in here. I think what I'm doing is when I'm pouring that, I'm getting to the end, I put my hand over there and moving at the same time. And I think that's dragging. I think if I just, you stop, you put your hand, to, or you keep going, and then you put your hand under, stop, don't move, and then pull away. I think that's a, that might be a trick. It might be just in my head too, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to see me do new ones. Uh, once this coronavirus thing goes out, gets done with, I have no idea how long it is, then I'll be announcing prices and my designs for my cups and such. Anyway, y'all have a nice day. Wash your hands. DOG out.